Hey there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Pink Fresh Friday YouTube Hop. For this layout I'm going to use the uh, Pink Fresh Studio Range Chrysanthemum. This is all of it that I own. I don't own any patterned paper at all. Uh, I think they did a, a massive washi tape with dyes as well. But all I have is the alpha, the chipboard circles, uh, the frames, the journaling bits and the ephemera. So I decided I'd challenge myself to be able to make a layout um, using just this. I think it must have come as part of a kit. I don't remember purchasing it particularly, but it's actually really my colour. So I'm very pleased that I'd um, located it again within my stash. So I want to use the journaling bits as the mainstay, the background really of the layout. So I'm just having a look. Some of the envelopes are a little bit on the big side, so I might just use the journaling cards. And I'm just trying to create um, a collection there. Uh, I'm definitely going to use some of the frames, but I don't want to commit at this stage. And I'm not totally sure about the orange. So I lift out some of the orange pieces into the tray on the left. And to start with, I concentrate on the pinks and the greens. So there's lots of bits and pieces in the ephemera as well, uh, like labels and uh, little journaling spots. So I'm looking to build them up. I'm not trying to save this stash. I want to use it up. So I want to add as much as I can without feeling like I'm overwhelming it. So I brought in three photographs. I'd already actually got these printed. Um, I'm not sure what, what I was gonna use them for, but I thought the green in the background was a really good match to the uh, green in this range. Um, plus I thought the black gave a bit of a pop as well. And there are colors in my daughter's dress that uh, are, are quite pleasing with the colours in the um, range, but they're not not specifically the same, but they they echo it. So it's I thought they went quite well. Also, there's lots of words and phrases in this, and um, I thought they were also quite appropriate for graduation. Um, I, I like they would be for lots of things, but for example, there's like new adventures, loving every minute, believing yourself, uh, one of a kind. A new chapter and I thought actually these go really well with this um, and it's definitely obviously something worth um, documenting. So have you ever heard of Pink Fresh Friday's YouTube Hop before? So uh, it's run by Joanne, a lovely friend who once a month or organises for a group of YouTubers to all design with Pink Fresh Studio collections. We'll all be using different collections, I'd expect. We all have very different styles, but it usually happens on the last Friday of the month. And I will list everybody below that's taking part this month so that you can have a good old hop around. The idea is, is just to provide inspiration so that these papers and ephemera, etc. don't just stay in your stash, that they actually make it into your albums. And that works the same for us. I love hopping around and seeing how the guys use things so differently to me. And so there's lots of inspiration um, out there for you. So do check that out. Obviously, if you like my style, I would love you to subscribe to this channel. There's, going to, there's always uh, plenty of videos to watch. And give this video a thumbs up to any comments or any questions you've got. I'm also happy to answer uh, if you just leave them below. So I'm liking the way this is looking now. But I'm thinking that I want to maybe add something to the background. So I'm just... Um, placing a few more extra bits and pieces and I come in with my chipboard circle templates and I can't make up my mind which size to use initially because I actually want to um, embellish the white cardstock. So I, draw, I decide this is the right size circle so I draw a pencil line and off camera I whiz around it on the sewing machine in black. Now I always do the first circle pretty much around the pencil line but the other two I get a little bit more wonky just to give it a little bit of variation. And I'm coming there with some um, liquid watercolour from Ecoline and I'm just going to add a few splashes around the edge. You don't see many of them at the end, I'm just making some of the dots a little bit bigger. But I just wanted to break up the white cardstock a little and by adding the black that tones in with the uh, outfit that my daughter's wearing. So it's, that's dried off now. So I obviously did it on a spare piece of cardstock, I didn't see the point tipping everything off. So I'm now going to move everything back over to the base layer that I am going to use. So I just need to make sure that it now fits within the sewing lines that I've done 
from the template circle. So I'm quite liking the way that's looking. I think the black just pulls it all together now and brings it uh, more centrally. So uh, I'm still tweaking it a little bit. There's a couple of bits that I'm not so sure about. Uh, the white uh, tag at the top and the journaling card that say I've added new adventures to. don't know whether it's too white. So that's some of the things that I'm thinking about while I'm looking at the last few bits and pieces. There's lots of bits of ephemera, so I want to try and get some more pieces on if I can. Did you see this range when it came out? Because it, I don't think it is a full range, not that I know of. Um, whether there were some papers as well. Uh, maybe I missed that. Um, I'd be interested to know whether you you actually did buy this or whether you've used it and what you created with it. Uh, I'm really loving the colours actually. Uh, I do use some of these frames but not enough of them so I do think there's definitely going to be another layout in the offing really. I'm going to tuck that frame under there but I will eventually cut it in half so you see it either side of the photograph and I brought another one in there which that's two but generally I tend to like to use threes so that's something else I'm thinking about that I might be adding another frame somewhere else later on. I keep looking at those journaling pieces because I'm, I'm looking at the colours of them to whether I actually cut them up to cover the bits that I think are a little bit too white at this stage but um, it will develop as we go on. There's lots of lovely word stickers here. That one I've just added in, it says believe in yourself. I'm just trying to echo the stickers that I've got in the top left corner or the words uh, and just so that um, it kind of like gives a cohesive look. Um, there's lots of um, scrapbook theory out there. Um, I'm not, that's not quite how my brain works, but I do, you know when you know something doesn't look right when you're scrapbooking and then you know when it does. Um, so I just felt it didn't feel as balanced by but adding those opposite each other. I feel like it balances it a bit better. And I am thinking of adding another frame now uh, at the top. I've decided that the tag at the top is too white. So I'm going to use this um, orangey colour. Even though at the beginning, do you remember me saying I wasn't keen to add too much orange? I decide that I'm going to make a tag out of uh, one of the other tags. Just rubbing out the pencil lines because I drew around the one that I did have. And I think that little bit of orange there helps that photograph pop at the top. Uh, and I'm just checking all the other orange pieces I discarded at the beginning because, God forbid, I'm going to miss something. Because I do like to double check and triple check that I've not um, missed out something. Now, I've kept that piece of journaling um, ephemera. Did you see it was the packaging? And I was thinking about cutting out the small journaling uh, pieces off the back. So I may still do that, but probably not for this layout. So I've stuck, off the, stuck the main pieces down off camera. And as you can see, that uh, journaling card that said pink, uh, new adventures, I've added a little bit more orange to that. And I've got another frame there and I'm going to pop that uh, next to that photograph. Felt like it was a bit of a blank space. And I have got a gap further down at the bottom for my journaling. I'm just waiting for uh, my daughter and I will fill that in. Uh, um, before it goes in the album. So I'm going to tuck a frame in there. I didn't particularly want the word that was on it, so I'm going to cover that with another of the um, phrases, which says loving every minute, and I'm going to add a little arrow there, uh, which I think goes with the look on her face, to be honest. So literally, I'm now just titivating, moving the last few bits around. I really quite like the whole feel of it. There's quite a lot of dimension there. That journaling card moves. So this is the finished layout. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and give us a thumbs up if you like this. I've added a few pearls around the edge as well, uh, right at the very end. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you here soon. Bye for now.